Hey, welcome to the Old Stogies Uncut podcast, brought to you by the Old Stogie Company Mobile Cigar Lounge. I'm Randy. And I'm Shane. And we are coming to you from the Mobile Cigar Lounge. We're going to be talking a bit about whiskey. Cigars. A little bit of everything. And a whole lot of nothing. Yep. And you don't want to miss a minute of it. So find a comfortable place to sit, pour a drink, light a stick, because we're going to be coming at you. Stand by. Guys, this segment of the show was brought to you by 705 Designs. Now listen, if you're a business owner, you've got to cut through all the static of all the competitors and get your message to the right people at the right time. 705 can do that for you. There's some great people. They're going to do great work in your marketing aspect and your website aspect. You really need to go check them out. I promise you will not be disappointed. S-E-V-E-N-O-F-I-V-E designs.com. They produce our show. They're good folks. Check them out. 705designs.com. Hey, we are the Old Stogies, and this is the Old Stogies Uncut Podcast. I'm Randy. And I'm Shane. And we are glad you are here. So, hey, how's it going, man? I haven't seen you in a while. It's been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been a couple of weeks, yeah. You left the country? Yes, we were on holiday. Yes. (laughs) We didn't leave the country. We just, yeah. You went to Mexico. New Mexico. Wow. Yeah, difference. Yeah. Difference, yeah. Amarillo yeah. Part 2, that's all that is. <laughs> it is. They recently annexed it. It's called Amarillo West now. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, yeah, sure is windy up there. Yeah, it's all them damn fans they have out in the field. Yeah, exactly. Boy, there's a bunch of them, too, let me tell you. Yeah. I, I did 22 years in Amarillo. Ah. Hard time. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you left despite the fact you had a lot of big fans up there? Big fans. Yeah, big fans. Big yeah, fans. Yeah. So uh, what you smoking, brother? Uh, currently, it's a Southern Draw, Quick Draw, Connecticut. Uh, good cigar. Yeah, I started with this one, but I'll be I'll be switching over halfway through the show. It's yeah. you know, it's only a thirty minute cigar. It is only a thirty minute cigar, and this is going to be a four hour show. So, ooh, or not? Is there a, <laughs> is there a nap time in there? Four hours? <laughs> uh, I guess there probably needs to be. I guess so. I am smoking a uh, cigar that actually my pastor gave me. It is an actual uh, Cuban Cohiba. Is it good? It's very good. Uh, it's got a really nice flavor. Did you double check that label and count the dots and I all did. that just to make sure? I did. And he, he told me the story behind it, that he was actually in Cuba when he brought some of these back. You, you can do that now. You can yeah. bring some back. I think you can bring them to 100 uh, something per like person. That. Yeah, 100, 200, I don't know, four Somewhere in that neighborhood per person. I think I heard a hundred. I yeah. could be wrong. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. But these are uh, these are really good. Uh, you know, because we we've had the Cuban uh, Dominicans um, right. in the lounge before. The Cohibas. Cohibas. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, but uh, this is this is head and shoulders. I think um, ab- above the Dominican. Yeah, it's a really nice cigar. Well, yeah. you remember what was it? Just before we started this, you know, yeah. my wife and my three kids and I, we were in. Jamaica mm. over Christmas. Right. Yeah. No better place to spend Christmas than Jamaica, wow. let me tell you. Yeah. But uh, at that resort we we're in, they had some Cohibas, just the wrapper. I mean, Maduro is one thing. These things were dark black. Oh, I wow. Mean, yeah, I mean, the tobacco looked odd because it was, you know, eight shades lighter. Mm. And I bought a couple of those and they were asking a pretty high price for them i'm pretty sure i got tourist touristed yo yes. you got touristed touristed <laughs> is that a verb i don't know because they were i think they were like 22 dollars each and remember i brought them back you and i sat down and tried them we were all excited and both of us got about halfway through it and they started to fall apart yeah i don't yeah. they just didn't know how to take care of them or, no no they didn't they didn't so yeah 22 bucks a cigar wow get out of the city that's a that's a yeah well the hand rolled ones were a lot cheaper oh i see <laughs> how did they roll those on the <laughs> thighs of no like, no <laughs> <laughs> rolled them with their feet i, I, what's uh, I don't know tasted that way didn't yeah the, <laughs> the the uh you know the jamaica tobacco is quite different if you know what i mean yeah yeah so i've heard yeah mm-hmm. yeah so, well, yeah, this is this is really good. This is really good. And you're drinking, uh, 
You're drinking actually some pretty nice bourbon today, aren't you? Eagle Rare. Eagle Thank Rare. you. You brought yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Glad you're enjoying that. And I don't, what it, what did you uh, lowball me with over here? What is this? I uh, you know me. I like to try different things. Right. So I I got that bottle of Old Camp blended Old Camp. whiskey. Wow. Blended bourbon. Yeah. Eh, it's not bad. It's under twenty. Yeah. It's not yeah. bad at all. Mm-mm. It, it's, it's got a little bit of a what we talk about a little bit of a peppery taste at the end. And yeah, it's got it's a peppery finish, but it is it's very light. It's very light, uh, but it's not a bad sip in bourbon at all. Mm-mm. Yeah. So. We may have to get another bottle of that. Yeah, I mean, for the price. Yeah. Cool bottle, too. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I like it. I like the way. It reminds me of the Devil's River, the shape of the bottle and everything. Yeah. And the color. And the color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And That's kind of why I bought it. I was yeah. like, eh, I want something light. Yeah, and a little bit the taste as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think Devil River, a little bit smoother. Yeah, I think so, too. But it's so a blended too. as well, isn't it? I believe it is. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, so on my trip in New Mexico, I uh, I had to break down and uh, and buy a bottle of uh, Woodford um, just because I needed some uh, some good bourbon. First world problems. Right I know there. first world problems. I know. Yeah, had yeah. To break down. Had to break down and and uh, is resign that, myself. Is that one of those? It's like, can you spread that cost out over three credit cards? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No kidding. <laughs> But uh, now I got me a bottle of Woodford up there, and that was that was very nice. Do you guys take I, food stamps? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Do you take bourbon stamps? Uh, um, I took a bottle of uh, of that new bourbon that you and I uh, kind of liked, um, that you made fun of me so badly about uh, when I first tried it. You mean when you first tried cock? No, when I first bought a bottle of Fighting Cock. That's what I bourbon. said. That is not what you well, said. Well, essentially. No, 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 no. There was a lot more insinuation when you <laughs> said it. No, not, no, no, no. But I, I took it out about two or three drinks out of it up there, and it was just, it tasted terrible. It really? Had, it had an edge on it, and it was just not good. I poured out more than I drank. It was to just not homies? good. Yeah. To your that's dead it. homies. To, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and so I said, well, we're going to go over here to this German grocery store, which was unique up there. I can't believe you poured it out. It was not good. It doesn't matter. Well, I, I suppose so, but it was not good. Pull up your big boy panties and suffer uh, through. Uh, you know, in uh, New Mexico, you can walk into a convenience store and buy hard liquor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can do it in Iowa, too. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's that's funny. I, mean, I stop for gas and go in there and, yeah. you know, you can buy vodka and bourbon. and. It's awkward to walk into a Walmart in Iowa and there's a whole hard liquor aisle. Wow. And yeah. that's awkward? Well, I well, mean. It is Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, being here in Texas, mm-hmm. you know. So, yeah. Let's get some Cheetos and some whiskey. Yeah. Sounds good. So, no, tell me more about the trip. Tell, where, where did you actually go? We we spent uh, uh, four days, actually five days, in Red River, New Mexico. Beautiful place. Been yeah. there a couple of dozen times. Oh, man, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's very close to the Colorado border. And we had gone to Albuquerque for a, for a seminar. Um, and then went up from there through Santa Fe and Taos and, and uh, to Red Not River. I'm a big fan of Albuquerque. Uh, Albuquerque was okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it, nothing to write home about. They have a great casino just north of the town. Yeah. Um, Do you know it's cost of living wise? It's one of the highest in the United States for its size. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's, it's crazy high. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Didn't know that. Uh, but it was, it was okay. Uh, and then Red River is like three hours north up in the mountains. Um, elevation is 8,300 feet, roughly. and uh, But it's so gradual when you get there, you don't realize yeah. that you're even that far up. Well, at, at Albuquerque, you're at 7,000. Mm-hmm. So you don't climb that much between between. I think there you and climb the, the difference between Amarillo and Albuquerque or Red River. I think it's like four or 5,000 wow. different. Yeah. And uh, I actually ruined a transmission on an old Suburban ah. pull in there. I, w- I was pulling a little pop-up camper. And for all intents and purposes, it looks flat the whole way there. Yeah. So I just put it in overdrive, just normal highway cruising. Yeah. Yeah. And about three quarters of the way, just a ton of smoke pouring said, out the said back. Said no more, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Didn't. So, yeah, you don't realize you're climbing a hill that whole way. Mm-mm. Now, we, you guys yeah. didn't go through Amarillo, though. You went No, up. no, no. We went up through Lubbock and then cut across to Clovis and, okay. and went up like that. And... um 
Clovis is a neat little town. Clovis is a neat little town. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been to Clovis, and it's a. Uh, the thing that struck me most about Clovis... I think the, everybody says that. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been, been like, Clovis. It's been a long time. Uh, the, the thing that struck me the most about Clovis is the streets are very wide, and all the buildings are very far apart, and I couldn't figure out why until you get outside Clovis, and you see what's outside Clovis, which is basically a big bunch of nothing, mm-hmm. and you figure out that their biggest raw material is land. Oh, yeah. So, you know, they can put buildings you know, 30, 40 yards apart, and they don't have to cram them up next to each other. Did you guys think about going, um, gosh, now I can't even remember the name of the town. Um, it's the big alien town that's right there. In oh, New yeah, Mexico. Roswell. Roswell. Yeah. Did we you? didn't go. We had been there before, and uh, yeah, it was uh, kind of a big nothing burger. It's a big touristy. It's a big touristy thing where you get the bumper sticker that says, you know, I was abducted by aliens at Roswell, New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yet, somehow, you're still here. Got my first anal probe in Roswell, <laughs> New Mexico. Uh, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. uh, but no, Red River, let me tell you, man, we were going up there uh, the uh, last Sunday. Last Sunday evening, we were pulling into Red River, and man, it started snowing, mm. and oh, it was wonderful. We pull into the town, and the snow is just a-falling. It was beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. And, uh, so we got up the next morning, stomped around in the snow, and took a bunch of pictures. And so uh, I'll probably post some of those on the travel blog on our website in case you're oh, interested in seeing some of those. And I know your wife loved it because she loves uh, teal, and they yes. paint everything teal. They do. They yeah. do. And, of course, we had to get pictures of, of her beautiful uh, turquoise Jeep in the snow. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was it was really a, really a fun trip, really a great trip. So after all the, you know, stocking caps and coats and mittens and yeah. long underwear and everything that you guys had to buy while you're up there, are you going to donate that now? Because you don't need it down here. I uh, I don't know. We're talking about maybe going back up there. Uh, it's a beautiful place. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. I, You know, I'm, I've always been a, a course of Texas guy, and I like the beach and I like the hill country, but after being up in the mountains... Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a special kind of peaceful. Well, um, you know, I grew up in Iowa. Yeah. And, you know, I'm used to those heavy winters. But I used to tell people, I go, there's a difference. And Red River has these type of winters that I'm talking about. Right. I mean, it's cold. It's snowing. But there's no wind. Yeah. It's calm. And during the day, it's just beautiful sun-filled skies. Yeah. I mean, literally, it's 31 degrees outside, 30 degrees outside. You could walk around in jeans and a sweatshirt. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. that, and they know how to take care of the snow, so the streets are fine, the sidewalks are fine, but there's two foot of snow in the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Exactly, exactly. And right, it's a great place that you can hear yourself think. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right right behind our uh, condos that we were staying in, um, there was a stream that ran through there with a little covered bridge that went across it. and Portions of it frozen. Portions of it frozen, but just... You go out there, and I mean, there's, the snow is undisturbed. There's no footprints, mm-hmm. and and you can hear the water running, and you can hear your thoughts. And yeah. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. So maybe retire farther up. Well, maybe I don't know. You know, summer suck. So yeah, yeah. But so, I think it's just going to be a place we're going to visit. I don't know yeah. if I really want to live there. I think we're still going to move to the hill country. I have a hard time talking my wife into mountain stuff because she's she's all about. The heat and the beach and the sand. She yeah. doesn't like that. Yeah. Well, and that's what makes you different is because you're always mounting everything. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. My dad always said that if I fucked the floor of a barbershop, there was enough hair on it. He was kind of mean. <laughs> wait, can we, can we say that? We just did. All right. Well, what you mean we? You said it. <laughs> you laughed about it, so you're you're complicit. I guess I'm complicit. Yeah. It's just it just struck me the way you said it. It was funny. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, we're gonna refill our glasses. We're gonna take a break, and uh, we're gonna come back and uh, talk a little more about cigars, whiskey, a little bit of everything, and a whole lot of nothing. Absolutely. But remember, you're playing this, so it's kind of your fault. Right. We'll, we'll see you in a minute. We are back. We're the Old Stogies. This is the Old Stogies Uncut Podcast. Appreciate you guys stopping by. So, Shane, we've had some changes to our online store, right? Oh, yeah. We've, we've a lot of changes. Yeah. I've added a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Um, we're finally getting into the, you know, 2011 where we're doing email marketing. Oh, nice. So. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
But, uh, yeah, we've added a bunch of stuff that will um, help you set up, as I like to call it, your own, your very own stogie space. Nice. Yeah. Nice. A bunch of whole stinky ashtrays. And if you guys aren't familiar with what a stinky ashtray is, it's the big silver bowl one. Um, but we have some desktop of those. Uh, that cutter. Yeah, that the cutter is cool. four-way cutter. Yeah. I think it's, what, two of them are, what, 52 to 58 ring size, and then... What's the other one? It's like 62 to 68? I don't know. I mean, yeah. But there's four cuts, um, flat and V-cut. Yeah. It's, it's great. That's a cool-looking cutter. Let me tell you, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. That is the cigar cutter that Darth Vader would use. That is That looks like it belongs to a Sith Lord. I'm just saying. Man. Darth sounds like he smokes too many cigars anyway. Yeah, maybe, of, maybe so. Yeah. <sighs> it's, it's the first case of COPD on TV. <laughs> kind of think so. <laughs> So <laughs> uh, what really caught my eye is that new uh, humidor with oh, the, American the American flag. flag. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool looking. I really like that one. Yeah. And there's like 50 cigar capacity. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. that one, that particular one's 100. Is it 100? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. It, you know, listen, if you guys haven't been by the website lately, you haven't been by the website. You lately. Need go, <laughs> you need to go check it out. Oldstogiecompany.com. Yeah. So good job on all those changes. Well, thank you. Getting all that on. And, uh, I mean, we got big things coming when it comes to that store. Yes, we We do. We have some plans. Yes, we do. Coming up, and that store is going to be badass. Yeah, yeah. Now, the other uh, big news that we just had was about this podcast. Yeah, we got canceled. No. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Sorry, I I, I went for it. Yeah, yeah, I understand. (laughs) Uh, Not yet, we haven't. Mm -mm. Uh, In fact, just the opposite happened. We just got picked up by iTunes and Apple Podcasts. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we kind of made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna high five myself here real quick. Uh, good job. You yeah. still missed. Just <laughs> <laughs> one arm shorter than the other. Okay, it's harder for me. It happens. Uh, no, uh, yeah. I mean that that to me that was a big deal. I was so excited. It took like yeah. three days after we submitted it yeah. to find out. And yeah. I, mean, I was just on pins and needles. Yeah. The whole time. I mean, like, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> and they listed us as comedy fiction. Comedy fiction. Yeah. All right. They, they didn't ask me to list it. They, yeah. That's what they picked. That's comedy where they found fiction. it. Comedy yeah, fiction. Yeah, so. Well, there you go. Well, I'm just. At least I'm, iTunes things were funny. Well, yeah. they. Uh, it's right there in the name. Comedy. Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the fiction part, but whatever. I don't know what fiction means. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure anymore. Either. I always thought that was dumb. Fiction. Nonfiction. Yeah. Just it's a real story or it's not. Why do we got to have these special words for that? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think it goes back to the to the actual Greek words. That I, I don't know. I, I'm nice just, try. Though. I'm just messing with you now. I know. Yeah, I, I, I was I was leaning in on that. Yeah, you. Ha- I had your attention. You I did. did. I, I could tell. I'm gonna drink now. You go ahead and talk. All right, I will go ahead and talk. So, um, I I didn't have the opportunity to have a lot of cigars when I was in New Mexico, but, um. I did have an opportunity to smoke one of the Perdomo 20th anniversaries, uh, the Sun Groans, yeah, 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 which was a really nice cigar. I had a couple of those while you were gone. Yeah, but I was uh, I was sitting outside around a fire globe, uh, which is like a fire pit with a top on it, um, and it you know it's cut out real cool. It's got pictures of mountains and mm-hmm. mooses or into the steel, or, into the steel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, to where it creates a silhouette when you have the fire. It's, behind it's it. basically an art piece that yeah. they burn wood in. They burn I mean, wood they're really in, yeah. they're really cool. I saw the pictures. Yeah, yeah, they're very cool. They're very cool. But it was, uh, I think at the time it was eight degrees with a twelve mile, mile an hour wind. So um, not a constant though. Not a constant, but it was uh, it was cold. Let me tell you, it was very cold. Um, it was so cold the cigar wouldn't burn it real well. But, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's probably all that snot rolling down off your mustache. On that's probably what it was. That was coating the end. Mm-hmm. Couldn't get a draw out. Yeah. Of it. yeah. <laughs> no, all that froze in the mustache. Huh? Now, all that froze in the mustache. All yeah. The, yeah. No, I got stories about cold weather that you would not believe growing up in Iowa. Really? Yeah. Uh, you, got, you got a moment? Oh, uh, I've got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got lots of time. Go ahead. So my. So I'm out of time now. Oh, Go ahead. <laughs> My youngest son, he hates cold weather. Mm. He's just like his mom. He hates cold weather. No, actually, I, I have that backwards. He loves cold weather. Oh. He hates hot weather. Oh. I, I apologize. I just jacked the story up from the get-go. Yeah. But he, so, he, tune in next week for yeah. more jacked-up stories. When we moved down here to South Texas, he's just like, how close are we to the sun? He goes, <laughs> this is ridiculous. 
I'm like, yeah, I know. So I think it was uh, 2016. We went up to mm-hmm. see my parents in Burlington, Iowa. Yeah. Tiny little town of about 25,000 right on the Mississippi. Yeah. Southeast corner. And uh, we're staying in this hotel. And we get up. We get ready to go over to my parents' house for Christmas morning. Yeah. And we walk out. And I already checked the weather. It was, what was it? It was like three degrees, but a wind chill factor of like negative 19. Good grief. Yeah. But, I mean, there wasn't a lot of wind. I mean, we, we discussed that earlier. I mean, there's not a lot of wind, but with the wind. Yeah. And anyway, I looked at him. I'm like, you like this? He goes, yeah, I love it. I'm like, you know, I just took a deep breath through my nose. I go, do you smell that? And he's like, no. So he goes, he goes, I don't smell it. I go, take a deep one. I said, you really got to hit it. He goes, real hard. Next thing you know, he starts hollering and yelling and grabbing his nose. I looked at him. I go, just snot freeze. <laughs> Welcome to winter. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, I did have a chance to stop into a, a really cool cigar lounge in Abilene, which okay. was nice. It called The Leaf. And uh sat and um, um, had a cigar with a friend of mine up there. He smokes a pipe, and I was having a cigar and and uh, it's really cool they got a big selection there's a coffee shop right in it so so that was kind of fun that was so is it just coffee or do they serve alcohol as well uh they don't serve alcohol uh it's just coffee so that's different yeah yeah it was kind of weird but uh but i mean different in a good way yeah yeah uh but it was a nice place Hmm. um not a real big place but it, it was a nice place it was a nice place uh, and then when we got back into Texas, uh, we stayed uh, stayed again uh, on our way home in, in Abilene and sat outside the fire pit at the uh, hotel. And it was nice because it was only like 60 degrees, but, uh, you know, it was just perfect temperature. And I uh, had exactly what what you're having now, a quick draw Connecticut, quick draw Connecticut. southern draw. And I uh, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. So. so you really think the cold weather had something to do with that cigar? You know, I really don't know. Uh, it could have been the humidity. Uh, it's very dry up there. It's very dry up there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that's one thing I hated about Amarillo. I mean, it'd be middle of summer, and you just stand in there talking to somebody, and your nose starts bleeding. You're like, right. what? what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, anything. You reach over and touch anything metallic, and a little tiny lightning bolt shoots out yeah. from your hand. And I used to just tell people, I, I used to hang out at Studio 54. That's why the nose bleeds. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. 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 Did that work? No, I'm not old enough to remember Studio 54. Yeah, I, guess I, I would have been like three. <laughs> <laughs> but I was still there doing rails. <laughs> At three years old. Yeah. 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 It was sugar, but. That's okay. That's all right. This, uh, this Cuban is really good. Man, I'm telling you. Good cigar. I'm about to switch. This, uh, this Connecticut's. About to the end, so yeah. I'm getting ready to switch here in a minute. So yeah. might let you carry the show. Not like you don't already. Well, yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to say that, but you know, as long as we're here talking yeah. about it, yeah. But uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's good. So uh, events, we get some events coming up. We do have some events coming up. We got some private events coming up. Um, I like those the best. Oh yeah, I like the, I like those the best too. I like those the best too, and it's fundraiser season in South Texas. Yeah, so we are perfect for fundraising season. Oh, no question about that. No question about that. We add excitement to your event. Yeah, and profit to your bottom line. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I used the radio voice, so yeah, well, <laughs> it was. Despite that, it was still pretty good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. So uh, I heard while I was gone that uh, Stella, our lounge, was parked in the wrong place and had to be moved. No, she was parked in the right place. Yeah. They just didn't like where she was parked. Oh, I see. They were working on something, right? Or, yeah. Uh, okay. One of the neighbors over here was getting his pool fixed. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he needed to have access, and our lounge was in the way. And when I came up here, I was talking with the uh, the maintenance guy, and he looked at me, and he goes, a super nice guy. Yeah. Super nice yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not is. saying anything bad about Fred. Fred's a great guy. But Fred looked at me, and he goes, yeah. He goes, uh, the owner of the house there, he's like, man, he goes, if they didn't have a lock on the front of that lounge, he goes, I'd have just moved it for him. I'm like, 
Say the fuck what? Yeah, what? I beg your pardon? <laughs> wow. Yeah. But, no. We got it moved. We yeah. had to move it back about 50 feet. Yeah. Well, so. you know what that the moral to that whole story is, right? We need a second lock on the front of the lounge. Uh, just to make sure. What do you, just for looks? Where are you going to? Yeah, just for looks. Okay. Yeah. I mean, where do you put it? Uh, I, you can't I, turn I, the crank? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that's a thought. <laughs> Get a big chain and chain that crank up. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Okay, fine. We saw a lot of pretty airstreams in New Mexico. I bet. Yeah, because with that dry climate, nothing corrodes. Oh, I bet. Yeah. That's our biggest problem is the salty air down here. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's causing that uh, pitting corrosion all mm-hmm. over it. And that's that's hard to polish out. If you've never polished an airstream, um, go to the dictionary under the word futility. And there's a picture of us policy. Yeah, there's, uh, there's parts of this thing that looks like a seventh grader that's eating too much pizza. I mean, it's just acne all over it. It is. It's pitting. Uh, but she's still beautiful. Yeah. She's still a pretty girl. She is. On the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the outside goes with the brand. I still want to do that idea, though. What's that? Uh, to get her all polished up. Yeah. Park her on the side of the road somewhere, a main road. Yeah. Get a bunch of strippers and start stripping it. Hmm. I think that would be... It'd be fun. Uh, I, I think it would be uh, good marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. We'll uh, we'll let you guys know when that's going to happen. <laughs> Never mind. Mm. I'll just let that one go. Yeah. 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 You know what? What? I think it's time for me to light up that other one so we can do the big finale. Okay. Well, uh, do you yeah. have a big finale? Uh, you, you told me you had a big finale. I was prepared for stories about New Mexico. I didn't know I was, um, you know, tasked with coming up with the big finale. Oh, finale? Yeah. Finale. Finale. So I guess my Midwest is showing. Uh, finale is we can charge another eight bucks for a finale. <laughs> a finale is a bargain, you know, but we can charge more for the finale. All right. Yeah. Is it a finale or a final? <laughs> it's the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's over. All right. It's done. All right, guys. Give us just a minute, and uh, we'll be back, and we'll continue to talk about nothing for a little while. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. See We're good. We're the Old Stogies. This is the Old Stogies Uncut Podcast. Thanks for coming back to our third and final segment. So, uh... Final? I thought we were doing four hours. For, for this, well, this is a three and a half hour segment. You keep telling the people what we're going to do, and then you just renege. <laughs> I know. Uh, see, if if we actually go four hours in one of our podcasts. Oh, no, I'm just an Uber. <laughs> that's it, yeah. <laughs> well, that'll be the, the last podcast, I think. We'll both need an Uber, that's for sure. That's for sure. So, um, just a couple last things on uh, on New Mexico. First of all, the casinos there are awesome. Now, I got a question about that. Are yeah. they Indian casinos? Yeah. Yes, yes. They're not state run casinos? No, no, no. These are all um, Indian uh, run, run reservations. Those are, uh, and I'm not trying to tick anybody off, but those, man, those are tight when it comes to their slot machines and stuff like that. They're very, very tight. They're not as loose as Vegas. No, 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 no. And uh, now that being said, I walked into a uh, to one casino. It was the second casino, casino we went to. And um, I walked into it, and there's a Simpsons video game. Can I say Simpsons? Is that trademarked? I don't know. Who cares? So there's a Simpsons video game. And I'm like, wow, it's this is Jack pretty cool. with them. It's an OJ Simpsons video game. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the jokes I could make there. Anyway, <laughs> you have to wear gloves, but they don't fit. Yeah. So um, I walked in there. I sat down. I played 50 cents. <coughs> <coughs> nothing. Played 50 cents. Nothing. Played 50 cents. Won 150 bucks. Sweet. Cashed out. I was done. Yeah. Uh, why? You know, you get that you get that far up. Oh yeah. So um, that's no, that's way I, I took my wife to Vegas. And it was uh, shortly after we got married. Yeah. And I put a dollar in a machine. She was like getting a drink or something. Put a dollar in the machine, and she comes walking back, and it's quarter slot. I had already pulled three times, and uh, lost. Pulled in that fourth quarter, and. I won like 75 cents. Next thing you know, this hand out of nowhere just reaches over my shoulder and hits cash out. Look, what are you doing? She goes, you should always walk away a winner. 
I go, I put in a dollar. <laughs> and so here comes this little receipt printed out for 75 cents. I'm yeah. like, you get to take this up there. I'm yeah. not going up there for yeah. 75 cents. Yeah. She yeah. did it. She walked right up there. Just really? as proud as could be. We oh. won. No, we're down a quarter. <laughs> Uh, but no, the casinos were were very fun. The the one north of Albuquerque, just a great, beautiful casino. What was it called? Um, it was called the um, uh, Sandia. Oh, uh, because yeah, I heard of it. That's the name of the uh, the Indians uh, mm-hmm. in that area, and and uh, it was beautiful. It was yeah. pretty new, and uh, yeah, most of the casinos there allow smoking, um, which was was kind of cool. I actually. Uh, um, had a chance in Taos to go into a casino and play a little bit there, sitting there with a cigar, which was which Great. was nice. Yeah, 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 that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So um, uh, one one funny story is we we were one couple that was in the group we were in. They were up there, and and she doesn't speak a lot of English. She speaks a lot. Of, well, she speaks a lot of English, but she's German. So everything is very has a very German accent on it. Good okay. job. Thank you very much. Not my first time. Um, but they left, and we left, and she's texting Laura as we go through the drive and everything. And, and uh, Laura is reading her text, and, uh, you know, we were halfway home or something. And they live up in North Texas, so they were almost completely home. And Laura starts laughing, and I said, what? She said, well, they're, she says that they're going to stop at a casino north of Wichita Falls in Oklahoma so that they can get out and spread their legs. And I said, excuse me? And uh, Wichita said, Falls in Oklahoma. <laughs> and I say, you sure she didn't mean stretch their legs? Mm-hmm. And so she takes her back. Well, and, that's that's the part you caught. I'm like, Wichita <laughs> Falls? In Oklahoma? Yeah. I, I, that's in I, Texas. I, I don't know. Well, it was north of Wichita Falls. Very north. Very north of Wichita Falls. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was right in, inside the Oklahoma border, apparently. And um, that was that was just a, a kind of funny. Spread we're, our legs. We're going to stop and spread our legs. And it's like, whoa. <laughs> Gas money. <laughs> At this point, I'm assuming it's gas money. Well, you know, the casino before was not their friend. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, Laura, yeah, did you mean stretch your legs? And, of course, then the both of them laughed about that for the next 100 miles. So. The best casino story I have, I went with my mom, and my mom loved casinos. Mm. And a couple of stories there. Uh, the first time Iowa ever got casinos, the only way they could have them was – on a um like a body of water right yeah on a boat on uh, a boat yeah yeah, yeah. What, what do they call those boats with the the queen mary stuff like that the paddle boats the, oh okay the yeah. big paddle boats yeah yeah so you'd have to go on like a four-hour cruise so i'm out there with her and my dad and dad and i are playing blackjack she comes running up she goes i won 400 i won 400 i'm like you won 400 dollars. she's like well no i won 400 nickels yeah well, and i looked you- at her and i'm like can I borrow 200 of them? I'd like to get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and she's all, oh. but, uh, one of the best ones I went with just my mom and I, and, uh, I actually did, you know, I'm a mom. She's stuffing me money. She's like, here, yeah. here, yeah. here's $80. Go have fun. I'm like, yeah. mom, I don't need your money. No, here, take it. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I put $20 in a dollar slot machine. Yeah. Second pull. I won almost 650 bucks. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, immediately uh, I go get the money. I stop playing. I yeah. go get the money. Yeah. Get a drink on the way. But I walk over and I, I give my mom her original $80 back and then, you know, an extra 325 Yeah, whatever it worked out. I gave her half of yeah. the winnings and yeah. everything like that. So we get back to the house and it's just my wife and my dad mm. who, boy, there's oil and water. That's a mm. whole other day mm. of stories. But she's like, so how'd you do? I'm like, yeah. I go, we got an extra 300 bucks to go back home on. She's like, that's awesome. She goes, what game did you get it on? I'm like, oh, they got this new one. It's this really great game. I go, there was a long line for it, too. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. She goes, what's it called? I'm like, uh, it's letters. Um, A-T-M. I go, it took me three <laughs> tries, but I got 300 bucks out of it. <laughs> she's like, you better be kidding. Yeah, I, I am. The game's called Adam. <laughs> it's great. So, Winner every time. Yeah. yeah. Well, not every time. Winning denied. <laughs> Insufficient funds for payout. Uh, wow. Won so much the casino's broke. Mm-hmm. Eh, no, just you are. Yeah. So. 
No, it was fun. It was the first time we've been we've been gambling in a while, and and uh, just uh, um, sit there and have a cigar. And you know, you know if you do it right, slots. it's not even really gambling. Yeah. No, I mean you hear all these people that's like, oh, gambling's a sin. I'm like, you can go to one of those high end. Um, video arcades mm-hmm. and drop just as much if not more money mm-hmm. to get tickets mm-hmm. to go get some little piece of crap prize yeah true. i go that's how i view gambling I, I walk into the place i got 50 bucks to have fun yeah it's 50 bucks that i was gonna use for something you know it's just blow yeah. away money yeah it's the amusement uh, yeah yeah if i yeah. win great right there's, there's my little plush toy animal if yeah. i win a few hundred dollars yeah it's not a big deal yeah yeah so no, I got you. It, was, it, it uh, becomes a problem when you can't afford rent and food for your kids. That's uh, when it's a problem. You know, anything becomes a problem. Then alcohol or anything mm. becomes a problem when you get to that point. So, I I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But no, we had a great time. We had a really a really fun time. Glad to have gone. Glad to be home. <clears throat> and tomorrow's Monday and back, back to, to work. work. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You guys got a lot of mail in there, too. Uh, I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. Yeah. And I'm sure it's people uh, wanting money from us, not uh, the other way around. Yeah, I put three letters in. Thanks. Appreciate that. Asking for money. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to give it away. Yeah, no. Yeah, no? Yeah, no. No. <laughs> well. Yeah. Well, where are we? We about out of time? Nah, we got time. Okay. You guys want to hear us talk more? You know what? Here, here's something. Yeah. Nobody guessed the song in our last episode. Really? Yeah, you mean the, the Metal Musings. Metal Musings? Nobody yeah, guessed nobody it? nobody guessed. Wow. It's for a free t-shirt, guys. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's a free t-shirt. Come on, guys. Listen to the episode. Free t-shirt or hat. You get your choice. Get your... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a great idea. So, go back to episode number six. Not the behind the scenes, but go back to episode six. Yeah. Um, it's about two thirds in and you'll find the metal musings with, uh, your son playing the background music. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, guess which song that Randy mm. is acting through. Yes. Yes. Go to our Facebook page. Yeah. Old Stogie Company LLC. Yeah. And just take a shot. Yeah. If you win, we'll send you a shirt or hat. Your choice. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do it. Do it. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Hey, also, don't forget about our website, oldstokycompany.com. Lots of good stuff on there. And I'm going to be posting some of the uh, snow pictures, some of the Red River pictures uh, on there as well, uh, because it was just really, really a fun trip. So kind of a funny story about the blog made me think about it. So everybody out there doesn't know this, but I started a new job. You do start a new job. Yeah. So, like, like tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, yeah. But uh, one of the things that the, uh, the the communications director asked me, she's like, hey, um, can you send me a couple of sentences about you and a photo so I can send out to everybody announcing your arrival? Yeah. I'm like, sure. So, you know, I wrote a couple of little cheesy sentences. and yeah. uh, Did they start with like, if you have seen this man, call the... No. No. No, no that wasn't it. No. Okay, all right. No, she was only 17. If you know what... No, what do you mean? The, yeah, the irony there is that you hate the Beatles. Yeah. And so, a little known fact about Shane Anigans is that he hates the Beatles. Yeah, still yeah. not a thing. It's a thing. It's always a thing. Shane Anigans. But she wanted a photo. Yeah. So, the first photo I sent her was a cropped out photo of me and Billy Bob Thornton. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I cropped you out. I'm oh, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> So wow. I'm hoping she uses it. That hurts a little bit. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. It'd be kind of fun. So this guy <laughs> knows Billy Bob Thornton? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. I call him. I call yeah. him William. You had your uh, you had your old Stogie t-shirt on for that photo, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. Nice marketing. Yeah. Hey, guys. Sorry about the technical difficulties there. Uh, you know, we, we run this show on uh, equipment that all together cost what, $8. It's two cans and a string. Two That's cans and a string, yeah, yeah. And how we got the birds in here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dad joke. Dad joke. Yeah, teach them to hold the string was cool. So, yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. The, the cereal biggest, was badass. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, 
Speaking of birds, they got the biggest birds in New Mexico. I think they're ravens. I'm not sure what they are, but they're huge. Ginormous. I don't know. Colossal. I'm out. Aliens. Aliens. Uh, that's all yeah, I can figure. Yeah. Aliens. Yeah. It was exposure to the uh, to the radiation, I guess, from the all the atomic bomb tests. Anyway, we appreciate you guys spending the time with us. Listen, don't forget about our Facebook page, Old Stogie Company LLC. We still need somebody to guess that song. We need somebody to guess that song. That Otherwise, I I'm going to guess it, and I'm going to get a T-shirt. Yeah, you'll have to, because I have no idea what it was. I know, that's the plan. Not particularly my genre. And, you know, we're going to bring that up. You know, we, we need to talk quickly about, or briefly, not quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk briefly, quickly. yeah. I'm not good at quickly. Okay. We do have a, a, a new idea for a show coming up here soon. We do. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's not going to be... Well, obviously, it's not this one. But no. <laughs> here soon. Here soon. We're going to do a show. Yeah. And uh, we're going to call it Jokes and Smokes. Oh, yeah. We're going to find a couple of our funniest friends. Yep. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, well. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few friends that are kind of funny, if you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, um, yeah right. Um, but anyway, we're just going to sit around. We're going to have a few drinks, and we're going to just tell jokes yeah and yeah. have a cigar yeah. so you guys you know keep looking out for that one that yeah. one's going to be a lot of fun that one it's going to be a, a reoccurring theme yeah yeah as will the uh metal musings metal musings yeah we're, we're going to do that again because that that was fun i think mm-hmm. we'll have another uh guitars and cigars yeah uh episode coming up here soon uh so let us know if you liked that and uh if you didn't like it uh nobody cares yeah. so uh let us know if you liked it talk to your manager <laughs> that's <laughs> Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, hit us up on the web- website, oldstogiecompany.com. Now, today is March the 1th, um, and uh, tell us about the special on the website for March. We are doing this new thing, so we're going to, we have a, a sign-up sheet. Yeah. A sign, well, sign-up sheet, sign-up. Sign-up list, a sign-up. Yeah. Basically, yeah. You, you become a member of the Old Stogie Company I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? You, uh, you become a member with Old Stogie Company. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and if you, all you have to do is submit your information. Yeah. And uh, you'll get the emails. Yeah. But with that, you'll get a code. Mm-hmm. And that code is good from here until whenever. Yeah. For 10% off all of your online purchases. There you go, at least through the end of March, right? Here until then. Yeah, from from now until some other time. Yeah. The code will be good. Yeah. Until yeah. we say, mm. Yeah, and you'll get 10% off your purchases. Uh, of course, the shipping doubles. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> but you, you'll get 10%. We've marked everything up 20%. <laughs> yeah. You'll get 10% off uh, your purchases on the online store. You'll get a beautiful 24-karat gold engraved membership card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. We just no, ran no. out of those, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. But no, uh, you... We'll still send you one. Yeah, sure. Uh, we both have crayons, and we'll just color you one up real quick. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. I'm an artist. He is an artist. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, lots of fun. Um, hope the uh, New Mexico stories didn't bore you. Um, eh, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> oh, you weren't talking to me. <laughs> not, no, not really. Well, you were looking not at really. me. I don't well, know. Well, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. So... I just finished my uh, Cuban, my Cohiba Cuban. Really good cigar. Loved it, loved it. And uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Bard. I appreciate that cigar. It was fantastic. So uh, I guess we're going to sign off for this episode. And Shane will finish in his Camacho. And uh, we've yeah. uh, got some work to do on Stella, so we're going to get after that. So thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate spending time with you. And as always, smoke them if you got them. And we got them. See you. Shut up. Old Stogie's Uncut, brought to you by Old Stogie Company and produced by 7 